Okay, so the rest, hey, the rest of 1.4, part two. They deal with, hey, okay, guys, this, hey, Winston, stop talking. The rest of um, this is going to deal with step functions or piecewise functions, okay? And then we're going to also look at things and decide if they're even or odd functions. So a step function has this funky looking thing at the beginning of it. Have you guys seen that before? No. Well, I mean we have seen that. You have, you just haven't done much with it, correct? You don't know what it means. That's fine. Okay, when I have that, it means that my graph is going to have steps in it. It's going to be pieces like a ladder. Okay? And it's going to step up and step down, which means my domain and ranges, my x-intercepts, my y-intercepts, they become a little bit different. My domain on this graph, okay, on a, P, on a step function, is negative infinity, positive infinity. So I'm going to have this ladder all the way up and all the way down, okay? R, the range, is the set of integers, okay? But you have to break it up into the set of integers for x-intercepts and y-intercepts. So x intercepts is in the interval of 0, 1. And I have a bracket around 0 because here it crosses the x-axis at 0 and it's colored in. You see that? Okay? At 1, it's a circle. Because on piecewise functions, what happens is wherever it left off, that starts it being included now, and then it goes to a number, then it includes that number, then it goes to a number, then it includes a number, then it goes to that number. Okay? So you're going to always have like a closed dot and an open dot, okay? Or on piecewise functions, we might have something that looks, well, when we do this one, I'll show you what it looks like. We'll show you what it looks like. Let me sketch that. My y-intercept is 0, 0 with parentheses, okay? Because it's not crossing, well, yes, because it's just 0, 0 with my y-intercept. Um, okay, so when you're doing step functions, you have to list domain, range, x-intercepts, y-intercepts. Let's talk about how we're going to put some of these in. So this is going to be a piecewise function because there are two functions within this, and then I have parameters on them, okay? So how do I put that into my graphing calculator? Do you remember? Count. What do you have to do to, the, to this right here to put in my calculator? Parentheses. Parentheses. And then after you put parentheses around that, you put a comma and you put parentheses, and you put x is less than or equal to 1. Where do you find the less than or equal to? You press math. You press second math. Oh, second math. <laughs> okay, and then you go down to the second portion, you put parentheses around negative x um, plus 4, and then you put a comma again, and then you put parentheses, x is greater than one. And that's again second math. Where's the inequality on here? You press second, second math. math. What do you mean you did that? In really, son? What, Jack? Uh, wait, so for a negative x plus 4, we put that on the bottom or the same column? You put it in the second equation, y, y2. So you're going to do this. You put in y1, parentheses, 2x plus 3. Comma, x less than or equal to 1. In y2, you put negative x plus 4, and you put x greater than 1. Okay? And then you're going to press graph. We're supposed to put parentheses around both of them. Fifth error syntax. Because you say math. Oh, because I put commas. I guess you don't have to put commas. Do not put commas, people. Do not put commas. Ah. Because do you see when it says syntax error, it takes you straight. It can take you straight to it. Do you see where it says go to? No. Yeah. When it says syntax error, it will say go to, and it will take you exactly to where your error is. Well, that's cool. So no commas. That's why I knew it was no commas. Yes, because it took me straight to the comma. Oh, you waste the whole thing. It helps you. A straight line like this. It makes life better. This is what it's supposed to look like. Well, just a second, I'll tell you. Um, and so when you press graph, okay, you should have two pieces to it, Cameron, yes? I have three. I have four. And another one. So you, have, you should have one that goes something like this, right? 
Yeah. And then one that comes something like this, yes? But then I have like one that goes right along the next X, X. Um, I'll tell you, let me see yours. That's because you have your clock turned on. Uh, so if I turn my clock off. Wait, Miss Peter. Wait, it's still showing. Wait, let me see. 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 Let me see.
What about this one that looks like an S-ish figure? Odd. Odd, because it's through the origin, it's with respect. And does this have symmetry? That ain't even a function. It has, it has symmetry, but it's symmetry to what axes? The X. The X, so it's neither. Okay. So then I want you to put these in your graphing calculator and tell me if they're even, odd, or neither. On one graph. You can put them on one graph or you can do them individually. That is up to you. first one that grabs is the one that was in the first equation spot. If you don't have a colored calculator that tells you what color each one is. So it's odd, it's odd, even, neither. You think it's odd, even, neither? Think it's what? Maddie thinks it's odd, even odd. Let me plug this in. Let me plug this in. It might be odd. It's odd, even what? Me and Alice want to turn. Okay. We have another vote for odd, even, neither. Oh, yes. Tyler, what did you tell me? Yeah, that's okay. Yours is the better. Odd, even odd. The first one is definitely odd, yes. The second one is definitely even. The third one, does it go through the origin? No. So it's neither. Alex, the third one does not go through the origin, so it's neither. Right, but the even is symmetrical to the y axis. On the third graph that you did. Yeah, on the third graph you get something that looks like this, right? It comes, it looks like this one a little bit, but it comes through like here instead, yes? Okay, that's not through the origin. So it doesn't have symmetry through the origin, so it's like, cool. Okay? That is what your homework is on tonight, just those few things. This is a blessing.